Welcome to the 2020 Virtual Candidate Forum. Our desire is to create informed voters by giving the Plant City community an opportunity to meet every candidate on their ballot. At the Greater Plant City Chamber of Commerce, we are a connector and convener in the community of current and rising leaders. When we all work together, we are Plant City Strong. This event would not be possible without community involvement. We would like to thank Tampa Electric, Fried Egg Productions, South Florida Baptist Hospital, the Hillsborough County Farm Bureau, and the many other generous supporters. Without further ado, let's hear from this candidate. Hello, my name is Courtney Pa'a and I own Courtney Pa'a Insurance Agency, State Farm, here in Plant City. And I am a proud member of the Greater Plant City Chamber of Commerce. And I have the pleasure of serving as your current chair of the board. Our governmental affairs committee has prepared a few questions for every candidate on the ballot running for a position that will represent the residents of the Plant City community. Today, I am here with Representative Lawrence McClure, who is running for re-election for Florida House District 58. Representative McClure, can you please give us a quick introduction of yourself so our viewers can get to know you. Sure, sure. Thank you for having me. Um, uh, my name is Lawrence McClure. I represent District 58. I've, uh, I've been in the legislature for, for three years, served three sessions, um, all of them very, very different, anything from hurricanes to, to uh, global pandemics, um, and look forward to uh, continuing the successes that we've had in Tallahassee with passing a balanced budget providing a world-class education for our students and making Florida the most business-friendly climate um, in the United States of America. It's been quite rewarding. It's been an honor of a lifetime to represent the folks of District 58 and um, excited to continue on. Can you tell us why you're running for re-election? My wife asked the same thing. Um, <laughs> you know, look, I, I think, you know, my entry into state politics and, and running um, for the, the Florida House of Representatives came from my experiences as a business owner. So I, I was directly impacted by state regulation, um, went to Tallahassee on behalf of my company, on behalf of my employees, and, and on behalf of, of, of the environmental consulting community here in Florida to, to, try, and, um, to try and make things more efficient, to make them uh, you know, more business friendly. And so this is a continuation of that. For me, it's, it's um, you know, making sure that that the folks of District 58 have a, a government that represents them on the state level, and I take that quite seriously. So, so that's that's maybe my thesis and and what motivates me when I'm in Tallahassee. Thank you. During your time in office, what do you plan to do for the Plant City community? Sure. So, you know, agriculture. Um, is our economic driver uh, uh, here in, in Eastern Hillsborough County and specifically uh, Plant City. And there's been challenges, um, you know, challenges within the ag industry over the last half a decade or so. And so that's a, that's been a tremendous source of passion and something that I have worked very closely with uh, with stakeholders here in the community to to make sure that we're doing everything possible on the state level to to put our ag community in the most advantageous position possible. After that, uh, transportation, it's something that we seem to discuss on a, on a uh, revolving basis and something that I'm quite passionate about, finding solutions to, um, to our transportation needs. Um, and then overlapping that, we have such a diverse uh, community uh, in Plant City and, and surrounding it. You know, um, so, so balancing, uh, you know, uh, urban living with with ag economic production. Those are those are very very um, uh, passionate subjects of mine when I'm in Tallahassee. Due to the decrease in tourism and spending this year, how will you address the budget shortages, and where will you cut, and where will you prioritize? Yeah, sure. So you know, I, I think the governor took took bold action um given given the pandemic and the trickle down to the um you know to the to the the tourism income uh 
you know, and I think you saw where the priorities uh, were and they were the same place that, that they were for the legislature and me personally. Uh, teachers needed a pay raise and I was proud that we could get that done. Um, so, you know, I don't, our, our education system, uh, we're, we're working as hard as we can to make it, make it as, uh, make it the premier system uh, in the United States. So I don't, I don't want to see it come from there. I, I think when you take a look at the member projects and, and the stuff that, you know, in the good times you're able to do, um, you know, those have to take a back seat when times aren't good. It, it's important to remember, since I've been in the legislature, three sessions, we've had Hurricane Irma, Irma. we had the, the tragedy in Parkland, and then we had Hurricane Michael. You know, the, we're talking about billions of dollars that were unexpected costs to the state that we've had to contend with uh, in Tallahassee, and we've passed balance budget after balance budget. So I look forward to getting up there and continuing uh, the trend of pa passing a balanced budget. It's extremely important. Um, and quite frankly, it's, it's the sole responsibility. It's, the, it's what we are charged with doing when we go to Tallahassee. The only thing is to pass a balanced budget. So I think we're all we're all lockstep on that. Um, prioritize the necessities, um, and then the other stuff. You know, you have to push back until until you recover those those revenue sources. If elected, what is your priority for your next term in office? Yeah, I'm, it's interesting. I'm looking at at several uh, things. I, I will say, um, you know, they are in the business. Uh, the business realm, uh, deregulation of unnecessary uh, certifications and, and, you know, quite frankly, just uh, bureaucratic spaghetti uh, is, is something I'm getting, I've been passionate about, but getting more and more passionate about uh, taking a hard look at that. Uh, environmental issues are, are very important to me as well. I think we need to continue the great work of Governor DeSantis on um, you know, protecting our waters and, and the Everglades. And so uh, looking at some, some, um, some bills in that space as well. But uh, I would say, first and foremost, our, our business community, our small and mid, mid businesses and our large businesses here in Florida, tourism uh, being one of them have been hit hard by, by the pandemic. And so uh, I think it, it, it is um, quite important for all of us to go up there uh, with, with kind of an approach that lends itself to the business community. Thank you. Well, that's it for our questions. Is there anything else you would like the viewers to know before we go? Well, listen, I, I know that these times are, are difficult and we've, you know, we discussed a little bit before we went on the air that the logistics of Zoom meetings and not being able to meet in person. And, you know, I've heard that this is, you know, we're all hearing that this is the new normal and I, I don't subscribe to that. We'll, we'll get to, you know, we'll get through this. Uh, we'll get through this together um, in, in my office and I, I stand ready to help uh, the business community um, in Plant City, in District 58 and continue the good work that, that we've tried to do. My office is always open. Please reach out. Uh, we would love to help any way that we possibly could and thank you for having me. Of course. Thank you, Representative Merfler, for joining us. We appreciate your time this morning. Absolutely.